Hello world of people, it's your boy Dero Val, I'm a fashion designer and a musician and I welcome you to my channel. In this channel, I discuss about fashion designing, I show you my music because I'm a musician, okay, and then we'll talk about life event and fashion or a tell-us experience. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix an invisible zipper with an ordinary machine. Yes, what I mean by ordinary machine is that we have a... Um, invisible zipper foot presser okay so if you don't have it if you just have normal um industrial sewing machine or butterfly sewing machine or manual sewing machine you, you can put your um invisible zipper with it okay so i'm gonna take you through the process or how to do that okay now let's get down to it okay so now to show your invisible zipper first of all you have to join the two bags together like you see me doing here now okay i'm just joining the two bags together from the sewing allowance that i gave for the zip okay we call it zipper allowance or zip allowance whichever way you want to call it so you now have to in this clue that i'm making there will be no slit so i'm closing everything from bottom to the um to the area that i want my zip to start from so as you can see from this video i'm just sewing and then i'm arranging my fabric because this fabric is actually a stretchy fabric it's not an easy fabric to control so that is why i'm just taking my time in it and i'm sewing it you know gently in order to control the fabric and not to make mistake or um exceed my the allowance that i have okay um that i have given for this zipper i'm using i think what i have there is either one inch or one and a half as you can see i'm measuring my zip to make sure that it has reached to where i want it to start from okay uh -huh. so that is what i'm actually doing so now i think i've gotten to the area okay i'm still sewing so yes i've gotten to the area i just backstitched and then i'm cutting out the thread i like to cut out my threads it makes my sewing to be very very neat so that is what i love doing so that is what i love doing okay now i'm um, you can see it i have already joined the two sides like i'm showing you i've already joined the two sides so what i what i just need to do now is to bring my zipper and then i will now tack it to the clothes and then but this fabric is very very stretchy so it's very very difficult for me to control as you can see that i'm showing you i have already opened up my allowance and i'm showing you my zipper and i'm just opening the zipper so that you will see that it's actually an invisible zip that i'm holding and there's i will also confirm if the zip is actually good i don't want the situation whereby i will finish fixing the zip and i will find out that the zip uh, is not good so so now as you can see i'm showing you i'm gonna focus my zip the center of my zip to the center of my sewing to the tip where i joined the two sides of the um the fabric okay the two back sides so as i as i have placed my zipper the center to it i'm going to do what we call tacking okay i'll first of all because i have my allowance is much so i will have to, first of all tack the zip to the fabric so that it will allow me to control my um how i will fix the invisible zip so as you can see i'm still struggling with the fabric to control it but at the end of the day i think i did control it so i'm now tacking this i'm tacking it to the clothes i will tack the two sides so now i'm just tacking only the one side and then i'm still taking it gently i like to sew slow i sew slow i don't sew fast it helps me to control my fabric i don't rush i don't rush i'm not running to anywhere so i just take my time and because of that i am i fixed my industrial machine not to be too fast it's fast but not to be too fast so i like to take my time so i've tacked the clothes to the to the very end to the top of it one side i've already tacked one side now i have to you know go over again and tack the other side so that i will get the the two sides of the uh, zip tacked. so that i will get the two sides of the zip tacked to the uh, zipper allowance that i have made available 
uh, on the fabric now I'm going to you know stretch the fabric you know make sure everything is relaxed before I want to tack the second one because I wouldn't want the situation whereby I'll finish tacking maybe I will use more allowance than I did to the other side or maybe I will now um, one side will be you know higher than the other side so it will not really be a good outcome so that is why i have to make sure that everything is relaxed before i want to start tacking so as you can see i'm now tacking tacking the, the other side of the zip so like i did to the first side and i'm still controlling the fabric it's very very important that you control your fabric it's not your fabric that controls you you are the one that controls your fabric so i'm still tacking still uh, you know arranging my fabric to make sure that everything is in order before I will now tack the zip to the fabric okay so I'm now tacking the reason why I'm calling it tacking and not sewing is that the 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 the, the stitches that I'm using here is actually a, a loose stitch you just tacking it's not sewing it's a, a loose stitch if you use industrial machine you know that the number that I'm using is number four and if you use manual machine you know that the number that i'm using is the down like the down 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 i think it should be either number seven but let's get down to it so i've finished i'm almost done tacking the zip okay I should be done by any minute by now okay now i'm done i've backstitched and then i'm cutting out my thread you know so i'll open it now you will see this is not an invisible zip okay this is just tacking tacking i've tacked it now if you want to fix it sew it to the edge to give me my invisible zip i have to do tacking so that the zip will relax to the fabric i will not have to be controlling everything so this is very very easy now i've opened up the zip and i will because in this process there is no way you can sew it without opening up the zip so i have to open the zip and then focus on one side okay now i've opened up the zip and you can see the i'm using white thread so that you can actually actually see the line of my thread the the so that it will not be invisible like if i use black you will not really see the thread so now once i've already opened it up i'll open up the zip i'll open it up like spread it and then i will use my foot presser and then put on top of it so that it will be on top of the spread side then I will use the needle, I will put it towards the end of the zip, towards the end of the zip, so that, you see, like I'm showing. I'm so, so sorry that the camera couldn't come any closer, so that you see what I'm saying. But as I'm sewing now, the foot presser is on top of the zip that I've opened, one side of the zip that I've opened. You can see, I'm just relaxing it, and then I'm using my finger to spread it so that the needle can actually go in very very close to the mouth of the zip not at the mouth of the zip but very very close to it and that is how i will sew it gently so that it will not the the foot pressure will not shift because once it shifts two things will happen it's either i catch the mouth of the zip or i go further away from where i'm meant to sew close to the mouth of the zip and at the end of the day it will not be and it will not show an invisible zip you will be seeing the zip or the zip will not close so you have to be careful and then so gently so i've reached to the end i will not backstitch and i will not backstitch sorry and i will do the same for the other side okay that is it so let's cut out my thread as usual and you can see it's very very close i will show you what i just try and close one let me know if it will actually close or if i if i sewed at the amount of the zip if i sewed at the mouth of the zip it will not close okay so that is it as you can see i'm checking it everything is in order the zip is opening and closing so i will focus on the other side now you can see i will do it as i did to the to the previous one as i did i will just open up the mouth of the zip again open it up and then i will now put my needle in between the allowance and the mouth of the zip like i said before i'll make sure that it didn't catch the mouth of the zip and it didn't go further away from it the foot presser will be holding each part that i will open so 
as I open the mouth of the zip the foot presser will be on top of it so that it will not close and then I will now sew it gently and carefully so that it will go so that it will not catch the mouth of the zip sorry because if it does then the zip will not close okay or it will not drift further away from where it's supposed to so because if it does at the end of the day when you close the zip you will see that you will still be seeing the zip and it will not be invisible invisible is means that nobody will see the zip when you close the zip when the, you are wearing the clothes so that is just it as, as you can see i'm going gently and then i'm opening it up I'm opening it up to make sure and then the more i sew as i sew i make sure that it didn't catch the mouth of the zip once i notice that it does i will just you know stop there lose it and then go back and continue my stitches so that is basically what i'm doing here and i've gotten to the end i'll just back stitch as you can see i'll just back stitch and then I'll cut out my thread. I like, love to do that. I love to cut out every tiny thread. It helps my clothes to be neat and it helps me not to spend much time when I'm doing finishing. So now I'm closing my zip. The cloth is stretchy like I told you before. I'm just trying to control it so I'm closing it. See, I'm closing the zip. You see how it's turning out. As you can see, we are not seeing any zip once I close. We're not seeing any black thing. You know any black thing that is coming from the zip we're not seeing it and i'm still controlling the clothes so that to allow me to close you know the clothes is a very very stretchy material so i didn't use a normal fabric so you can see i'm just closing it trying to make everything to relax so that the clothes will not enter the mouth of the zip mm, so i'm trying to arrange my fabric and then i will close the zip okay so that is what i'm doing just trying to close the zip and you can see i've closed it everything entered very well so that is it that is all about fixing invisible zipper so that if is you it. like what you have watched if you like what you have seen all you have to do is just subscribe share and then like okay if you're watching this on facebook just follow my page share also and like and comment i would like to do Know what you think. comment section okay now once again it's your boy there of i'm a fashion designer and a musician and i see you in my next class thank you bye bye